four success secrets you can't afford not to know part two and in this episode we're also going to cover a five word phrase that could change the way you interact with your clients forever Hey there, it's Michael Creasy here, the executive editor with Agent Inner Circle from agentinnercircle.com. Welcome to this week's episode. And it's actually part two, a continuation of the article that our good friend and coach, Brenda Florida, submitted last week. And if you didn't see part one, the link will be below this video. Make sure you check it out. And the reason is we had an overwhelming response of comments. But one, let me just grab the one here that really stands out. And it was from, where are we here, Frank. And let me read this to you. I was talking with a client last night and every one of her reactions were totally different from what I was expecting. It threw me off track a little. After reading this article, I realized that I had preconceived ideas of how she should have reacted. Hmm, complete change of mindset there. So make sure you go and read the article. So let me jump over to it and just give you a bit of a teaser. In the article, we discuss self-awareness and self-empowerment. That was part one. Well, this week, Brenda's going to take us on to other awareness and self-empowerment plus other empowerment. Now, I mentioned a five-word phrase. Let me scroll down here. I want to share this with you. And let's put this in, in context. Here we go. So let's say you're working with a buyer and uh, they're getting ready to put in an offer. But, you know, at the last minute, they throw in all kinds of things. Oh, you know, the roof needs repair. And I saw that there, there was, you know, a stain on the driveway, whatever that is. And so typically you would ask maybe a closed ended question where you'd say something. OK, if they get that fixed, are you willing to move on with an offer? Well, that's a yes or no response. You're stuck. But what if you were to rephrase that and say, OK, if I if I hear you correctly, Mr. Buyer, if the seller is willing to fix the roof and take care of that stain on the driveway, you'd be willing to proceed with the offer. Now, tell me where I'm wrong. That's the five word phrase. Tell me where I'm wrong, because now you're engaging them to fill you in. Now, you're not saying they're wrong because everyone, everyone doesn't want to be pointed at and said, oh, I didn't make the mistake. But it's fairly easy for people to see the mistakes that you make. So when you say, tell me what I'm wrong, there's a higher likelihood that they will engage because they're correcting you and then giving you the information you need. So this is covered in a lot more detail in this week's article. And once again, it's Michael Creasy here, the executive editor with Agent Inner Circle. Hope you enjoyed this article. Leave a comment. Give us a like. Look forward to seeing you next week.